International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. My name is Bernard Leduc, President and CEO of Hôpital Montfort, one of the authors of the article Experience of Health Leadership in Partnering with University-Based Researchers in Canada, A Call to Reimagine Research. I will summarize for you key findings of what I, as a healthcare executive, feel is an important study on health system academic research partnership. We now know that research is more likely to be relevant and used in practice if the intended user of the research are involved in meaningful ways in developing and conducting it. For this reason, to be eligible for funding, many now require university-based researchers to partner with the healthcare organization. Many challenges of such partnership have been, have been identified from the point of views of academics. However, little is known about the perspective of healthcare leaders. This study, which conducted in-depth interviews with senior health system personnel across Canada, is one of the first to address this question. First, we explored the question of how research was defined and understood within health service organization. We found enormous diversity on definitions used between individuals, even within the same organization. Research was often seen as separate from the business of running the healthcare system and not considered in addressing questions of health system design or health service organizations. Importantly, research was often viewed as distinct from quality improvements or evaluation activities, meaning that researchers were not usually involved in these important service improvements activities. Both academics and health system leaders highlight the time needed to develop partnership and the lack of fit between health system timeframes and academic timelines. However, health leaders also emphasize other issues. Two key challenges were the negative impact of organizational health system restructuring and the stress partnership activities imposed on already stretched organizational resources. In a context of continual change and stress, there was often no time to engage in research partnership, especially as research was not deemed to be that helpful to day-to-day -to -day operations. Another major challenge was the limited preparation of academic researchers. They were seen to lack sufficient skills in using a variety of methods to address practical problems. Many also lacked the necessary soft skills needed for effective partnerships, such as communication, negotiation skills, or project management expertise. Other concerns were about researchers' attitudes. Many described lack of humility as a concern or lack of respect for organizational participant and processes. This was not simply an issue of individual researcher skill, Universities must make important changes both in how students are prepared for collaborative research and how they, as institutions, relate to the health system. Health researchers' funders were also seen to have an important role to play for effective partnership with the health system. Timelines for funding need to allow a nimble response in the rapidly changing context of health service provision. There should be recognition of and compensation for the research contribution that health organizations make. Review committees should be broadened to ensure they have the range of expertise to appropriately assess health service professional. So in summary, we found that common approaches to research and knowledge translation are often not experienced as appropriate in addressing issues of health service design and health service organization. We concluded that we must redefine research to encompass the range of activities including quality improvement and evaluation associated with health system learning to achieve the full benefits of research. A radical rethinking on how we prepare health service researchers to work in partnership, how we position research within the health system, and how we fund research activities and infrastructure is needed. I hope you'll find time to read this article. I think you will find that hearing voices of health system personnel as they describe their partnership experiences useful as you consider whether and how to engage in research collaborations.